Hello and welcome to an Affinity Revolution tutorial. My name is Ezra Anderson, and today we're going to whiten the teeth in this picture. If you'd like to follow along with the same photo that I'll be using, I've included a download link in the video description. To whiten the teeth in a picture, the first thing we need to do is make a selection of the teeth. We can do this very easily by using the Selection Brush tool. With this tool, all we need to do is paint across the teeth to make a selection. After you have a selection, we're going to come up to the top and press Refine. We want to make it so our selection doesn't have such a harsh border. To do this, we can bring the feather up in our Refine Selection dialog box. You can see that if I bring the feather up all the way, our selection has become very smooth. We don't want it quite that smooth though, so I'm going to lower the feather amount to about 10 pixels. Now you can see we have a nice soft edge to our selection. After you've applied some feather to your selection, we can press Apply. Our next step is to apply an HSL adjustment. The shortcut for this is Command or Control U. We want to remove the yellow from the teeth. We can do this by desaturating the picture. However, we don't want to desaturate all of the colors, just the yellow. To do this, we're going to change this slider from Master to Yellows. Then we can lower the saturation. Be careful not to lower the saturation too far, or your teeth will start looking gray and fake. For most pictures, about negative 50% should look pretty good. After you've desaturated the yellows, you can exit out of this dialog box. To deselect, we can press Command or Control D. Already, you can see that our teeth are looking quite a bit better. At this point, if you realize that your HSL adjustment isn't being applied to all of the teeth, or it's being applied to extra parts of your picture, you can always use the paintbrush to clean up the area where your adjustment is being applied to. All you need to do is press B for your paintbrush, and then as you paint in black, you'll remove from the parts of your picture that the HSL adjustment is being applied to. Or if you press X, you can switch your color to paint in white. When you're painting in white, you'll apply the HSL adjustment to those parts of the picture. Once you're satisfied with where your adjustment is being applied, you can hold down Command or Control and click on the HSL adjustment icon to reload it as a selection. With this selection, we're now going to apply a Curves Adjustment Layer to brighten the teeth. To apply a Curves Adjustment Layer, press Command or Control M. Then all we're going to do is bring up the center point of this curve to brighten the teeth. Then we can exit out of this dialog box. I'll press Command or Control D to deselect once again. Our teeth are looking very bright and white, but maybe a little too bright. Instead of applying this bright curves adjustment to all of the teeth, we only want to apply it to the dark spots of the teeth. To do this, we're going to use Blend Ranges. You can find the Blend Ranges by clicking on this gear icon over here. For this example, we want to make it so the curves adjustment is only being applied to the shadows in the teeth and not to the highlights. To do this, we'll click and drag on this last circle and bring it all the way down. You can see that our teeth are looking much more realistic now because only the dark spots are being brightened and not the highlights. I'm going to exit out of blend ranges now and hold down shift so I can select both of these layers. Then I'll turn them both off so we can see the original picture, and here it is with our new whitening adjustments. You now know the easiest and quickest way to whiten teeth in Affinity Photo.